Welcome back to The Daily Poem here on the Close Reads Podcast Network. I'm David Kuhn. Today's poem is by a Welsh poet and an Anglican priest named Ronald Stuart Thomas, also known as R.S. Thomas. He lived from 1913 to 2000. My friend Sarah Jane Bentley, who some of you may have heard on some of our podcasts recently, uh, was telling me about this poem. She sent it to me. Once I saw it, I remembered reading it in college, but I hadn't read it closely since then. And so I'm really glad that she sent it. And unfortunately, I have no ability to read it in a true Welsh accent. So, um, you know, I apologize for that. Hopefully I can do a little bit of justice though. Uh, Maybe one day I'll have her on to uh, read it in the appropriate accent. But I wanted to share this poem with you. It's quite mysterious and haunting, and it's really worth sharing on this podcast. It's called Welsh Landscape, and this is how it goes. To live in Wales is to be conscious at dusk of the spilled blood that went into the making of the wild sky, dyeing the immaculate rivers in all their courses. It is to be aware, above the noisy tractor and hum of the machine, of strife in the strong woods, vibrant with sped arrows. You cannot live in the present, at least not in Wales. There is a language, for instance, the soft consonants strange to the ear. There are cries in the dark at night as owls answer the moon and thick ambush of shadows hushed in the field's corners. There is no present in Wales and no future. There is only the past, brittle with relics, wind-bitten towers and castles with sham ghosts, moldering quarries and mines, and an impotent people, sick with inbreeding, worrying the carcass of an old song. So, boy, is that a melancholy poem. (laughs) But it's haunting, you know? There's there's all these um, images of kind of hauntedness, ghostliness, you know, mystery. I I just did a little bit of a Google search on it to see what people were saying about it and to see what its reputation is. And there were a lot of people talking about how this is a poem that expresses what it means to be Welsh, which I find really interesting because there must be a hauntedness in Welsh, in the Welsh perspective, the Welsh point of view in general. You know, this is a, seems to be a poem about the, the idea of, of preserving a culture. You get the bit about the language, for example. You cannot live in the present, at least not in Wales, uh, R.S. Thomas says, because, for instance, there's language, the soft consonant, strange to the ear. The language itself is not changing, um, not very aggressively anyway. Um, and, and Sarah Jane was even telling me that when she was young, she would go to villages that were, where they didn't speak English, despite its proximity to England, um, that she would work with young women who didn't speak English, and so she'd speak Welsh with them. And so well, the Wales, for its existence, has been trying to preserve its own independence, um, its own freedom. There's a wildness there. Um, in the landscape. I don't want to say there's a wildness in the people, but there's a wildness in the place that seems to sort of be underneath the surface there. Um, you know, there's the strife in the strong woods, vibrant with sped arrows. That sounds like Hopkins there. Um, the uh, cries in the dark at night as owls answer the moon and thick ambush of shadows hushed at the field's corners. So there's a sort of ghostliness under the surface um, that seems to be haunting the island as it, as it attempts to, in some ways, um, unsuccessfully assert its own independence against uh, the onslaught of a world that would rather um, not allow it to preserve that. And so, you know, this poem is, is really haunting and, and lovely in how it expresses that. I'm not Welsh, of course, so I don't know that I can really do justice, what it, you know, what that feels like. I, 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 you know, I can't, but in some ways, you know, it reminds me of a lot of um, the sort of hauntedness that you'll find in a lot of uh, American Southern poems, particularly in the after the Civil War. So uh, here one more time is R.S. Thomas's Welsh landscape. To live in Wales is to be conscious at dusk of the spilled blood that went into the making of the wild sky, dyeing the immaculate rivers in all their courses. It is to be aware above the noisy tractor and hum of the machine of strife in the strong woods, vibrant with sped arrows. You cannot live in the present, at least not in Wales. There is the language, for instance, the soft consonants strange to the ear. There are cries in the dark at night as owls answer the moon and thick ambush of shadows hushed at the field's corners. There is no present in Wales and no future. There is only the past, brittle with relics, wind-bitten towers and castles with sham ghosts moldering quarries and mines, 
and an impotent people, sick with inbreeding, worrying the carcass of an old song. This has been The Daily Poem. I'll be back tomorrow with another poem for you.